today I have a very warful video for you guys. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yes, I know I told you that I want to be doing like a Revlon liquid lipstick color swatches and then a Chambord liquid lipstick color swatches and all of that. But I thought let's just mix it up a little bit, you know, why just do the same thing? So I have a bunch of liquid lipsticks here that I want to, you know, battle against with. I want to put one against the other and see which one does its job the best. Let's get on with the war. So, the first brand that we have is this In Color Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. I have two shades in this. Uh, I don't know. Okay, this is 418 and this is 401. I think I'm going to wear the 418 on my lip and uh, then let you know what my thoughts about it are. I have prepped my lips. I'm wearing the Nivea lip balm. Uh, it's in this uh, watermelon flavor. I love that flavor. It uh, moisturizes my lips and uh, the days I don't feel like wearing anything, it also gives this beautiful my lips but better kind of pinkish tinge. But yes, let's get on with the review of the liquid lipsticks. As you can see, this does dry out your lips a lot. I, even though I moisturized my lips and you know kept it really nice and hydrated with my lip balm, it just flakes off your lips and it gives this really chalky kind of a feel. And uh, yeah, the color has like just completely gone off from the upper part of my mouth. So yes, this is a complete fail for me as of now. I don't think I like this even a little bit. Uh, I know this is a cheaper brand, but I have other cheaper brands which do a much better job. So this is an utter fail from me. Next up is this Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream. I have it in a bunch of colors. I have it in the number 08, 16A, 12 and 15A. Uh, the color that I'm going to be swatching on my lips today is 08 and uh, yeah, let's see if this one does a better job. soft matte lip cream from Miss Claire on my lips. I freaking love these soft matte lip creams. They are so smooth, so easy to glide on. They stay put on the lips for a very long time. They don't feel uncomfortable on your lips and they are priced at some 150 rupees or something which is like a complete bonus. I think I got even like 125 or something at one point of time. So yeah, I was one of the first people to use it but at that time I was not making YouTube videos but I have fallen completely in love with these and whenever I go to like a store like a beautiful or anywhere I definitely pick like at least one or two shades of these because they are amazing. Next up we have this gorgeous Chambord Extreme Wear Transfer Proof Liquid Lipstick. I'm going to try out the shade 401. I, if you saw my haul, you knew this was coming. I think these retail for some 800 and something. I don't know, I'll uh, list it somewhere on the screen. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is the first time that I'm going to be trying this out and uh, let's see how good this holds. Yes, 
This is the Chambord uh, Liquid Lipstick in 483. I love the way it is wearing on my lips. It doesn't feel cakey, chalky or heavy. It doesn't seem to dry out my lips uh, even though it has a matte finish. It is very similar to uh, the Miss Claire formulation that we just tried on before this. And uh, yes, even though I'm like smacking my lips and doing all kinds of shenanigans with this, it doesn't feel like I have anything on my lips, honestly. Now time for battle number four. We have the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. I have it in the shade Devotion. I know last time when I was hauling this, I just couldn't find the names of these and then I realized they were in the packaging that I tore off. Hello Revlon, I don't know what you're doing but anyways. Let's get on to trying this out. If you follow me on Snapchat, you will know. If you aren't following me, hello, you need to live your life. Follow me on Snapchat right here. Uh, so if you follow me on Snapchat, you know I wore this a few days back. And uh, yes, I'm going to now wear it on my lips and tell you what I think of it. these Revlon HD matte liquid lipsticks they are so comfortable to wear if you've seen my earlier video I told you I was very hesitant buying them because they felt like they are going to leave a glossy-ish finish and I don't like glossy finishes on my lips uh, this is not completely dried down yet another thing that I've noticed with these uh, liquid lipsticks is that if you don't like that satiny finish or you want to really want uh, you know have this dry down really quick all you have to do is just Tap, tap, tap. Yes, and done. You have that perfect matte finish and it is so comfortable to wear. I can't even begin to tell you all how amazing it feels on your lips. And uh, yeah, it just, I love the colors of it. They have a variety of colors. I think they have around six or eight shades. So I'm sure you're going to get something that you like in that range. And uh, yeah, it is, I am, oh my god. <laughs> now, it's verdict time. Uh, so, among these four, I mean, come on, let, let's be real. Uh, the In Color Matte Me is not even in the running right now because it was a complete utter fail. So now that the In Color Matte Me has completely lost the battle and its plot, now we have three contenders left. Namely, the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors, the Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Creams and the Chambord Transfer, Transfer Proof Liquid Lipsticks. Just because the Chambord one is a little more expensive and I think it does the same job as a Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is unfortunately in the third place. So, sorry, I still love you and I will lose you in my future tutorials. But in this battle, unfortunately, you come a very close, but definitely a third place. My condolences. Now, the final two contenders are the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color and the Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Creams. And the winner is... Dun, da, da, da. I'm sorry Miss Claire, but the winner is the Revlon HD Matte Lip Colors. Oh my God. I love these, especially because they have this amazing, nice candy-ish scent and kind of, yeah, even taste to them. Uh, Okay, I'm not going to eat my lipsticks, but you know when you're sipping on a cup of coffee or something like that, it's nice when you, oh nice, I can taste my lip gloss. I don't know if you like it, but I do. So also, just because I like the formulation of this a tad bit more, I think Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream to me comes a close second. But I have to say that this wins hands down. Like before I found these, 
The only downside of these is that this is for around 1100 or something rupees and they are very expensive. Soft matte lip creams are a fraction of their price and they do an amazing amazing job. So I would definitely say that this is an amazing thing for any of y'all out there who doesn't want to spend the kind of money on makeup and still wants to have the same result. You go girl and you buy that soft matte lip cream from Miss Claire and put it all over your lips and and slay it in your college I'm telling you. Slay! But uh, people who don't mind uh, spending that extra bit, I'm somebody who is a complete lipstick junkie and uh, Given what I do, I just love buying lipsticks. So that is why the Revlon HD lipsticks are a little bit better for me and hence these come number one. But these are no way a second, you know, place. Uh, actually both of them win first place, but just because I have to pick one winner, I think I would pick the Revlon one. But the Miss Claire Lip Soft Matte Lip Cream, it's a winner in its own stride. I shall give it a moment. But not to take away from the winner, uh, the shade that I tried is Devotion. Uh, I've tried out the other shade too. It does a really, really good job. And uh, yes, I really, really love these Revlon HD lipsticks. I hope you enjoyed this battle of the liquid lipsticks. If you like such videos, please give this video a thumbs up. I had so much fun making this video for you guys, oh my god, and I'm such a lipstick junkie that I would anyways have these lipstick battles in my head, but it's kind of like my imagination coming to life with filming this video, so yes, I was very excited doing this. If you like such videos, like I said, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because yes, that's how I know I need to keep battling it out there for you guys more. Uh, and uh, yes, like I always say, keep it bossy. Warrior.